What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Planner PC Co. Show. It's Halloween week. We finally made it. And I chose the Glam Planner Kit. Stop in for a spell. Look at that cat. Did I choose this kit mainly for that cat? It's a high probability. <laughs> It's a very high probability, but I just, I just love it. I love everything about this kit. Every single box I love. And I even added on this. And I added on the Fashion Girls. I love that sweater. I love everything about this kit. And I'm going to try to utilize every single stinking box. Um, I made all of my extras. And I am using the pumpkin foil from my shop. So let's get this laid down and see what it looks like. I don't remember laying this down um I got real caught up on videos and you know it is such a job it is such a job to film that many videos in a row and then upload them and you guys know my internet sucks so it was like days and days and days upon uploading and I was just like I need a little break so I took a little break but we're back 
I'm only a couple weeks behind at this point. I actually just won, I guess, because I already got this one done, and so I've only got one more that I need to prep, so we're all good, we're all good, but y'all probably got real good and comfortable with me posting three times a week, <laughs> and this week is not going to be that, but I apologize, but I just needed a little breaky break, so. Um, I ended up changing this right here because I had two habit trackers and I, for the life of me, I don't know what else other habit to track. A workout is not even a habit that I do, so it's useless to track that one, but yet I do. So I did do another one of these little foldables here. I wanted to make the door the top so that you're opening the door, you know, but it's just so pretty and I didn't want to cover it up because this is a pretty like full overlay there and I felt like the cookies were the ones that I like I'm not gonna say dislike because I like every single box but it was the only one that I thought I would cover up so anyway I love it so so much okay so you guys I want to start doing a little segment like at this point of all of my um plan with me's I want to do uh, Randy's random questions. So I feel like you guys are getting to know me a little bit more um, because of playing with me's, getting to know my my boring self, you know. Um, but I want to get to go to know you guys a little bit better too. So I would like to do a random question each time, and you guys sound off below. So sometimes it will be. Um, totally planner related. Sometimes it will not and sometimes it will be really random and weird. So <laughs> my question to you this week and it's very planner related. What is your planner lineup for 2021? I'll tell you mine. Most of you probably already know but let me tell you this sidebar situation first. So working out I suck and um, I just put Halloween week is here that is stick with a plan co and then I ended up like I said trading this out. This was our anniversary week so I just went ahead and put eight years here because that's how long we have been married. This was our actual wedding anniversary this day eight years like I said we were gonna go get a massage and then we ended up not getting massage. I'll tell you that story. But first, my planner lineup for 2021 is as follows. Or a cell cloud. <laughs> that is it. You guys, I only use one planner. I just do memory planning in one planner. I did actually order me another one of these. It should be here tomorrow. But this is the one, as you know, that I just chicken scratch in. And I'm going to toss it at the end of the year. So... I'm super excited for the cloud. I never thought that I would be a rings person, but I totally love the idea of like making my own planner. So I'll go ahead and give you a little preview. I'm going to be doing three monthly views per month. I'm going to be doing one that is what I've been doing here all year, which is like appointments, deadlines, stuff like that. Then I'm going to do one that is completely financial and I might even get into some budget videos. I don't know. I feel scared about doing budget videos, but I would like to start doing like a budget section. Um, and then I'm going to do one that is completely fitness related. I may not be able to get my shit together right now, but I'm sure hoping that next year I can. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be in next year, a cloud. I honestly thought I've had it forever. And I thought, oh, I've got plenty of time to get it ready. And I still don't have it ready. So I'm like scrambling to figure out what I'm going to do. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. So, yeah, you guys let me know below. Are you just using one planner? Are you using multiple planners? Where are those planners? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, so Monday was our anniversary. We were going to go get massages. I feel like I told you guys that I was so hyped to go get a massage. I've not had one since before quarantine. I needed it so bad. Stress relief, whatever. But then we ended up not wanting to get up. <laughs> we slept in this day. 
Um, both of these I think are once more with love and then we actually called to make a massage appointment. So usually where we go get a massage, you just walk in the mall and they take walk-ins, right? You don't have to have an appointment. You can get right in. Um, but we decided we should probably call because maybe, I don't know, quarantine hit them hard and they're not open anymore, which kind of seems to be what happened, I guess. Um, we called the mall. The mall did not answer. We called the number online for the actual massage place. They didn't answer, so I'm not sure if it's even still open. So we decided to call Massage Envy um, and get an appointment there, but the first appointment that they had wasn't until the Saturday of this week. So we had to wait a few days. So we ended up, um, or I guess I ended up, it doesn't say that Casey worked this day, but I sure did. So this is from uh, Paper and Thread. And I had to foil orders this day. And then I had to do a mass print and this is Bubba Bear Studios. So, how did Halloween go for you guys? I feel like this is another random question, but it's not my Randy's random question, okay? I'm allowed to ask more than one. <laughs> we do not have trick-or-treaters here in our neighborhood. We have like a very small neighborhood. Not very many people live around us. Um, and we've never had trick -or Like, I don't even think I've had trick-or-treaters in my whole adult years of living I've never had trick-or-treaters come to my house no matter where I've lived so that's kind of sad but also whatever I don't care so pretty much I'll go ahead and tell you I can look at it um oh so Saturday was the day we got our massages so Halloween was just a pretty lazy day for me and that's all I did so um but then I cleaned the kitchen and that was pretty much my day we had stir fry that night but I did not record that and uh that was that Okay, on Tuesday. Oh, and you guys, I made um, tall box. Actually, her tall boxes are a little shorter than my tall boxes. But I did make a tall box overlay for here. And I'm really contemplating on putting them in my shop to fit my personal tall boxes. Um, and also, my tall boxes are the same size as SPC's tall boxes. So, <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I choked on my own spit or my tongue or something. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, I don't know if, um, <laughs> if my tall boxes are like the norm and um, glam planners are a little shorter than everybody else's. I'm not sure, but I think I do plan on starting to add some tall box overlays to my shop that fit mine specifically. So, <clears throat> boo. I had a massive, pretty massive. It was massive for me, right? It takes me a lot. Like, usually I can only crank out about two new releases per week as far as kits go. So, I did do that this past week, and it was amazeballs. I think I've never sold that many of one kit in a weekend. It was insane. Um, thank you, guys, first of all. Um, secondly... I did release quite a bit of foil last week and I, tomorrow I have like the hugest stack of foil to do. Of course I did not pull my arrows. Um, but I am actually releasing some foil this Friday as well and as of right now it looks like I'm probably only going to get my norm of two kits done. I don't know why I just can't do more. I, I don't know. We still don't have Casey trained on everything that I would like for him to train on. I still haven't got him like completely. He's better. The past couple weeks, I will say, I'm very proud of him for the way that he's been cutting and not letting things go through that I won't approve. <laughs> so I'm getting to more to where I trust him to move on to the next step. So hopefully we can do that soon. But anyway, I feel like I lost my train of thought right there. Oh yeah, foil. Um, I'm releasing some foil. Like a ton. More than I did last week. I feel like my head was in that. And if it was, I'm sorry. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek. I'm going to try to put this video up to go live Friday. Which will be the same day as new releases. 
So I just want to show you guys a couple of the washi sheets. There's going to be one. These are super fun. And then here's another one. It's kind of like paint splatters. And these two are going to have underlays to match. There's some hearts. going to be good for Valentine's. I think that one's going to have an underlay to match. There's some really cool dots. Pretty sure that one's going to have an underlay. I think this one's really fun. Mm, I think I'm going to do that as an underlay. And then there's a couple more that I don't have printed. But then you guys wanted me to bring the football ones to the shop too. So I am going to also do that. So I am super excited. I'm going to try to get, like I said, all of those underlays um, done too. As well as maybe some full box overlays. And also some headers. I'm just super stoked because... I normally, like I've had so many ideas for um, foil and I just never get it done. I just never have enough time. I'm always uber focused on new releases as far as kits go and I just can never seem to get everything done I need to get done. So I'm really, really, really excited about all the foil. <clears throat> okay, so this day we had internet issues we had been i feel like you guys know my internet just it sucks it sucks so bad we have really slow internet we cannot get the good stuff of whatever we've several different places we've tried and we cannot get it where we live which is weird um and it just had been progressively getting slower and slower and slower and it was like this is ridiculous well we woke up this morning and it was like nothing was really working all that well. So um, Casey actually um, called AT&T, which is where we have our internet from. And they had to go in from their side and do something. I don't know, but they got it fixed. They got it like redone. But then all of my printers were not connected because they were hooked up to the old um, system or internet or whatever you want to call it so then we had to go in and reconnect all the printers and one of them the like the screen stopped working so you can't you can't tell what your options are on the touch screen so that one took a little bit of extra time long story short we pretty much spent all day working on the stupid internet and getting printers connected so that was fun so internet issues printers finally connected that's Bubba Bear Studios that is um uh once more with love oh that one's happy dia i didn't say that that's on a freebie that i had so once i got my printers connected i could finish printing that is paper and thread casey started cutting um what i had already printed a little bit the day before that's oh hello michelle and then this night i watched it chapter one and thought that was very fitting for that um that is stick with the plan co that is such a good movie like it is so creepy like it's just it's so good if you haven't seen it i highly recommend but it is like it's pretty weird it's pretty weird it is pretty like whoever came up with that version i think was a little cray cray so i feel very chatty again um and it's probably because <laughs> I have not filmed in a little bit. I don't even know when the last time I filmed was. I feel like it's been at least a week or so, which is not that bad. It's really not, but I don't know. I will try not to let myself get as far behind as I was. Ugh, you guys. Okay, the only thing I'm just going to tell you this new reusable sticker book I got from No White Space Stickers. The only thing I'm not liking is, um, and I guess it's good and it's bad because with this one, the stickers stayed like super stuck in this one. This one, like it doesn't take much for them to kind of fall out. So <laughs> it's very like quick release, I guess. I don't know, but anyway. It's still a really good book. I'm not knocking it. And there's a lot of pages to it. Okay, so on Wednesday, Casey was cutting again. And that is Coffee Monsters Co. And then I had to finish the foil orders. 
I don't know why I used like a pin sticker, but it had a ghost on it and it was orange and I felt like I needed to use them. I don't know what you would use pin stickers for other than like, I don't know, journaling and things. But anyway, that is Stick With The Plan Co. I just felt like I needed to use some of them. I think that was my very first one I've ever used off of that. So, anyway. So, then I had to work on some invoices. I really like the orange with this. I feel like I was going to go a different direction and use something else, but I don't remember what color it was. This is Paper Shire for my invoices, because y'all know I just love invoices. And then I uploaded to YouTube... That is Pumpkin Paper Co. I uploaded that haunted video. I feel like that was probably as far as kits that I personally made and that I used in my planner. I think that was my favorite Halloween kit. That was mine. It was so good. And then I watched it chapter two because why not? And that was Once More My Love and that was my Wednesday. Okay, <laughs> so cute. All right, <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, I thought this was funny. Okay, Casey was cutting again this day. <laughs> and I use this cute little Freddy sticker cause you know he's got claws and he cuts people. So that was my reasoning behind using this one. <laughs> This was Sweet Beans plan, Plans, and it was on a freebie. I thought it made sense. In my head, it made sense. So, Casey Cutting. And then I had a design session this day, and this one is Every Minute a Story. Just wanted to get one more use of one of those in here this, this month. And then we had a PO drop. I'm sure this was Casey. I'm sad to not use my little Halloween stamps anymore. I wish they were a little bit smaller though, honestly. P.O. Drop and uh, that was Once More With Love. Um, and so while he was in town, I asked him to pick up some dinner, lunch, dinner. I don't know. We end up eating lunch so late sometimes that it's pretty much dinner. So I had him pick up some Hardee's, <laughs> some chicken strips, and some curly fries. I love Hardee's chicken strips. They taste like, um, oh, Charlie's chicken strips, I think. And I think those are some of the best chicken strips ever. That is um, Once More With Love. And then this is a character from my shop. I ordered Roxy some clothes this night. Um, yes, my dog wears clothes, <laughs> but only in the winter time. She legitimately gets cold in the winter, like she, she will shiver. And we've had her clothes that she has for years to the point that they have, they're like falling apart. They have like holes in them and stuff. So I was like, it's time. It's time you get new clothes a little bit. So I did order her like five new like little t-shirt shirts and then like a little um nighttime pajamas that are like all four legs like she hates it all four legs go in it you know and usually in the morning she comes out from under the covers and her back legs are like completely out of <laughs> the pajamas but they're so cute and they're like soft and cuddly and they have unicorns on them and she's just adorable um and then i had a youtube binge and uh, where is that one from it says once more with love I feel like that was on a freebie though and it says down the rabbit hole because I mean I feel like that's what happens when I get on YouTube and TikTok. I totally get lost down the rabbit hole. Okay so this was like not a super busy day I guess. I have like a ton of big boxes. Let me do this. This was also on a freebie, and it is Once More With Love too. I used a lot of Once More With Love. But I mean, honestly, 
She's got a sticker for everything, right? I feel like I just made an order with her too, or maybe, no, I think it was Once More With Love. You guys, I didn't even have enough stuff week one of November. I had one order come in <laughs> to film a haul. Like, I feel like I did something horribly wrong right here. I did. That was not supposed to go there like that at all. What did I do? Hmm. Let's see. This was supposed to go up more. <laughs> damage it because it's the only one of those I have okay let's see I'm not really sure how I thought I was gonna do this let's put this one down here more and then I guess I was gonna do it like this but I'm gonna put it down just a tad bit more I guess okay that's fine so I had to wake up this morning it was Friday new releases I had to get up and publish the sale I kind of want to put an arrow there because there's like space okay that's cute so how to publish the sale first thing and then I packaged all of these orders that Casey had been cutting on for a few days all of the foil orders that I got done Okay, and then I filmed um, a haul, a haul bit, and let me put this other one down first. Okay, I filmed a haul bit and a plan with me. Let me see what my plan with me was. Fry, um... I filmed Foolish Mortals, which is the one before this, so. This is Papershire, and she is ginormous. Okay, so I filmed, filmed haul and plan with me. Let me pull out another, another arrow. And then this night I finished up Schitt's Creek and I was sad that it was over. I actually cried. <laughs> I was so happy for David and then sad that they were leaving and that there's no more Schitt's Creek. That will be one I definitely will probably binge again though. So um, it will live on forever, right? Um, and that is... Um, once more would love to. Okay, so Saturday, Halloween. So I did do a special little box that just says Happy Halloween. Just honestly to try to take up some space because I was real, real lazy this day. I feel like I've been taking more days off than ever. And like, I like it, but then I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself when I'm not working. Um, so, happy Halloween. That is... Once more with love. <laughs> so, we had massage appointments at Massage Envy at 3 o'clock. Um, and so, I pretty much... Like, we didn't do anything before we left that day. Um, let's put this over here. That's also Once More With Love, I think. Yeah. I'm going to do another little arrow. So... Um, we had to go to Knoxville to get uh, a massage and I was real creeped out by, am I the only person that's still like creeped out by COVID? I feel like there's more cases than ever now and I still don't want to go nowhere, but it seems like people are just out there living their best life around here. So Knoxville in Tennessee has the second highest COVID case count in Tennessee. So, I was like, I really don't want to go, but I really want a massage. So, <laughs> we went and, um, you know, Massage Envy is a nice place. It's real clean. They made us wear a mask the entire time. And they took our temperature at the door and everything. So, I felt okay about it. But then, I was like, I really don't want to go eat anywhere here. Let's just go back home. <laughs> so, we did. And we picked up. I actually wanted crystals. I hadn't had crystals in a while. So, 
I picked up crystals and then Casey wanted a pizza. So he got a pizza, but I didn't put that down. I just put crystals for me. <laughs> so that is once more with love, like a little drive through pickup crystals. And then I come home and I guess I was real, real tired from my massage. My massage was not even that great of a massage. I was kind of a little disappointed. Like, when I get a massage, I like for them to, like, hurt me. You know what I mean? Like, they can get on my back and jump up and down. I don't care. <laughs> this one was, like, really more relaxing than anything. And that's just, I don't go to get a massage to relax. I go for them to completely rub out all of my stress. And that just did not happen, but whatever so i took a two hour nap and that is every minute of story and then i got up and went to bed and i completely did no work i didn't even design or anything which is very rare for me and i watched all three poltergeists yep and the second the number the first one pretty good two and three were kind of dumb but i watched them anyway um i think i'm gonna stop and start hold on okay was running out of time all right so to finish up my week looks like I did some cutting this day I probably had to finish cutting let's see I kind of no, that's fine um I probably had to finish up cutting some foil that's really the only thing that I cut anymore is foil I don't know that I'll ever let Casey do foil <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know. I'm just very, very, very picky about my foil. And if you've ever ordered foil from me, you probably know that. I try to send the most perfect foil sheets to you guys. Um, so I finished cutting and that uh, paper and thread. This is Pumpkin Paper Co. So I filmed filmed haul and I edited and uploaded. So that was my October haul. Uh, I really, like, I have a plan of how I want videos to happen after I can finally, like, just get it down what I'm doing. I don't think I'm ever going to get ahead in doing new release videos. And I will say, I don't like to copy people. I try not to copy people. But sometimes they're just really good ideas. And <laughs> Elle from um, Clan Planner. She seems to be like me as far as new releases go and she's working them on them up until she releases them. And that's pretty much how it is for me too. So she actually did a new release video this past week that was all digital. And I mean, I like to see things like already printed and cut too, but I feel like if that's what you gotta do to do a new release video, it was a pretty dang good idea. I might do that, but then again, I probably won't. But anyway, it's just a thought. Um, so then I did my checkbook. That is from my shop. And we watched The Craft, the new one. It was pretty good. I liked it. And that is Stick With The Plan Co. And then I proceeded to have a great big panic attack this night. I don't know. My panic attacks seem to be stemmed from nothing. I don't even know. I turned the light off, rolled over to go to sleep, and started convulsing. It was stupid. This was a pretty bad one, and it scared me pretty good. And it took me a while to get calmed down. I ended up having to turn the TV back on to watch TV to take my mind off of it. <sighs> I don't know. I'm real tired of having anxiety and stuff, but it is what it is. And that is Once More With Love. I think um, I had one of those on a freebie and then I ended up buying a whole sheet of them because I thought that was real, real cute for anxiety and whatnot. And that was Halloween week for me. So there it is, you guys. I'm very, very sad that the Halloween spreads are over. I mean, technically, I could do a whole year of Halloween, but I don't think I could stand to do that. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy enjoyed this one. Oh, yeah, it's time. It's time for me to go. I'm starting to get tongue-tied. Tongue um, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you don't miss all the things. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Bye.